Let's calculate the square root of 3,888,784. To start with, what are we looking for when we do the square root of this number? Well, what we are looking for is a number that when we multiply it by itself gives this answer. And how do we do this? Well, um, we how do you obtain the number that has to be multiplied by itself to give 3,888,784? Well, the procedure is the following. We draw here a line. We draw a second line. And now, starting by the end, we separate the number in two number cells. And now we go to the left, the first block numbers is a 3, so we are searching for a number that multiplied by itself gives 3, or the closest to 3, without going to a higher value. So 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 is higher than 3, so the number we will keep is 1. We write 1 times 1 equals 1, then we get this 1 on top, and as we said before, 1 times 1 is 1. We put this result under the 3, now we subtract 3 minus 1, 2. And now we take down the next two numbers. The next block is 88, so now 288, you get the 1. The number we've got here, 1, one's double is 1, so you write here 2. Always the double of the number you get on top. So now it's line times line equals. Now we complete. When we put the lines, we have to put the same number, a number from 0 to 9, in a way that we approximate, that we approximate to the, ma the maximum value to 288 without going over it. So let's try with 6. 26 times 6 equals 156. 156 is, is not close enough to 288. So let's try out now with 9. Twenty nine times nine gives two sixty one. As nine is the highest, we cannot use a higher one, but it's close enough so. As we said, twenty nine times nine it's two sixty one. Now we get the nine on top and we write two sixty one and take it away from two eighty eight, which gives us twenty seven. So now we get down the next block, which is 87. Now we do the double of 19, which is 19 times 2. Which gives 38. So we write it here. Uh, line times line equals... And now we search for the number which will make this operation close, the closest possible to 2787 without going over it. We'll try with the 8. Um, 388 times 8 equals... Three thousand one hundred and four. We went too far because we could not we cannot get over two thousand seven hundred and eighty seven. So let's try a smaller number. For example six. So three eighty six times six gives us 
2,316. Um, this one did not get over 2,787, but let's try 7 to see if we get closer. So 387 times 7 gives us 2,709, which is closer than 2,316, so we'll use 7. The operation gave us 2,709, so it's 2,787 minus 2,709. We put the 7, so we don't forget it. And now we do the subtraction, which its answer is um, 78. So now we get the double of seven of 197 and erase the remaining oper operations. So 197 times 2 gives us 394. Um, line times line equals we get the last block down. Now we are looking for a number that we'll get as close as, as possible to 7884 without getting over it. So let's try with number 3. So 3,943 times 3, um, it would give us 1,100 a l. Sorry, 11,829, which is higher than 7,884. So we must try with another number. So let's try out number two. 3,942 times 2 equals 7,884. It gave us the exact number, so we subtract 7,884 from 7,884, which is answer is 0. The number we used was 2, and the answer which it gave us was 7,884. Now we get the 2 up. As there is no remainder, the answer to the square root is 1,972. If it, if it had left a remainder, we would have kept on going looking for decimal values. But in this case, it was not necessary. So the answer to, three, to the square root of 3,888,784 is 1,972.